Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Jackie. And we're here in Las Vegas, uh, staying at the Park MGM behind us, a brand new hotel, well, kind of brand new hotel. It used to be the Monte Carlo. Right. But uh, we're here for a few days. Uh, Zero Latency VR invited us out to uh, try their new VR, which you'll talk about later in, the, in this episode. Right. And uh, let's go. What do you want to see? Everything. Everything. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So this is an area called Eataly, and it's right in our hotel. And as you can see, everywhere you go, there's places to get some Italian food, drinks, desserts, etc. It goes all the way back in here. Are you getting some Italian drinks? Yes. These are really good. That one? This one? Actually, this one. Lots of... Uh, Italian candies and mints. Look. What is it? A little teeny bottle of Rosa Regale. People who love Epcot will know this one. Look at how cute the little bottle is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but I believe you that it's cute. It is cute. It's a little bottle of Rosa Regale champagne. All right, I don't know if this is Mole Cola or Mole Cola. I, I think I'll just call it Mole Cola. I have to show you guys the Ghostbusters one, there's a Vacation one, Flintstones, Star Trek. I think any kids that was here would be wanting to play these games, even though they can't. I was just looking out of our hotel window and I feel like we're being watched. We're at the VR place in the MGM Grand, and they have all these posts with different artists on it and different things on them. And this one has Mickey Mouse smoking a cigarette and the Club 33 logo on it for some reason. Who knows? Oh look, it's, it's me shooting my vlog. Look, it's an avatar slot machine. You guys can't tell, but this part is in 3D without glasses. It's cool. I don't know if he likes you. I don't know either. I'm out of here. Bye. All right, we're just walking back to our hotel. We just came from the MGM Grand, checking out a new VR uh, experience by Zero Latency. Uh, they had uh, VR there for a while, but this one is player versus player. So you can either team up or you can battle each other. We decided to battle each other. She decided to battle us, but I won. So, barely though, so. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a whole video on our show about the, the VR experience there if you want to check that out. We're here across from the New York, New York Hotel. They have a roller coaster over there, which we're not gonna ride. I don't think it's even running right now, but it's really rough. It's, uh, not a comfortable ride, but uh, what we're here to see right now is the M&M store. We're going to go in there and taste test some M&M's. So English toffee, English toffee, jalapeno, jalapeno, coconut. Okay, so English toffee, jalapeno, and coconut. Okay, thank you. All, All right, right, go ahead and do my try. All right, English, like. English toffee. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Uh oh, he better say that one for that. Up to him. How is it? English toffee. Uh, English toffee, jalapeno, coconut. The Thai coconut. <laughs> All right, this Eminem lady behind us wants to know which one did you like best? I liked the Thai coconut. Thai coconut, it was really good. The toffee just tasted like a regular M&M to yeah, me. It didn't taste anything really special. Right? Um, you like the jalapeno? I like the jalapeno I because I like hot things. <laughs> right. She didn't, so yeah. I think we'll vote for, I'll vote for jalapeno, you vote for coconut. Yeah, on Thai coconut, yep. It's a slot machine. And the display actually lights up, go ahead. I think you win every time. 
Yeah, every Maybe time. Maybe if M&Ms were in there, they'd come out the slot. That would yeah. be cool. But they, yeah, this is this is just a display. That, but, uh, I don't think I could, uh, we don't have room in our luggage. <laughs> This is something cool that we don't have at the m and store in Orlando. It's a 3D movie you can see for free right here in the store. Uh, we saw it and it was uh, kind of weird but cute and fun. If you couldn't tell by everybody's jackets, it's really cold here. It's uh, February and it's in the 40s and 50s. But somebody forgot to tell this guy. All right, we're back in Italy, and we've got some pizza and a charcuterie board. board. Where are we going to start? Oh, dig in. Yeah, we're going to start with What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, did you want some? If that's not enough, you can get your own. All right, we are walking from our hotel down to Caesar's Palace because we were invited to dinner at Hell's Kitchen. It doesn't sound like a good time, but... Hell's Kitchen doesn't sound great, but <laughs> I hear good things, so let's check it out. It's, uh, <laughs> of course, Gig Gordon Ramsay's restaurant from the TV show, so it should be awesome. So, come with us. We're in a shopping center at the area, and there's a really cool dragon here for Chinese New Year. Watch out, Jackie, there's a tornado. I know, look down here, too. We're now in another mall. I think there's one on every corner, it seems. But uh, I saw this machine here. And I thought it was an old cigarette machine, but it's an art format. So you put five dollars in, and you can pick which art piece you want. Inside Caesar's Palace, and you can see they're all decorated for Chinese New Year. If you've never been to the shops in Caesar's Palace, you definitely want to come. It's really cool. Most of these shops in here are high-end clothing, shoes, nothing that really interests me, but maybe you might want to like something here. Yeah, there's a Tiffany's back there, there's a Tory Burch, there's a Brighton, yep. Well, she'd like it, but I don't think we can afford it. Raise your voices if Alaya should be queen. expecting to see like a theme park animatronic show while we were here. Right. <laughs> it was uh, kind of hard to hear, but right. it was cool to see and fire and everything inside of a mall. Yeah, a lot but. of cool special effects. Um, we just left Caesar's Palace shopping around and now we're headed to dinner at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Take a look at that pitchfork. Isn't that cool? Where is the six top? Ah, there you are. Can't wait to be enjoy Hell's Kitchen tonight at Caesar's Palace. Bon appétit! Here's a quick look at the menu. Prices are pretty high, but this is the kind of price you come to once not every day, once in a while. But I uh, hear the beef wellington is one of the best things to get. And they also have this, you can get the prefix and you get uh, different courses for one set price. And down here, five courses, which is way too much for you guys. 
just noticed all these pitchforks and all this. Here's the selection of mocktails. I had to get the uh, Banshee Whisper. In honor of the uh, Avatar. But it's made with rhubarb, so I'm not sure if you want to like it. It's good. What'd you get? I got the roasted rack of lamb with the baby carrots and the spinach and the hasa sauce. And then I had, it had a little extra um, shaved truffles on top. Delicious. I got the beef wellington, which is one of the things you can explore. And we also got a side of mac and cheese, which uh, way to recommend it. So we're ready to dig in. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa! We got the pineapple carpaccio for dessert. Running all over the table. <laughs> Come on, Jackie, you don't need another shirt. All right, we just had a great meal at Hell's Kitchen. It was so good. I had the beef wellington, you had the and then, lamb. And, the lamb, the rest of the and yeah, then so we really had that good. awesome dessert, which you saw. Oh, that's uh, delicious. That's it, was, it was perfect for some, when you don't have enough, enough room for like a heavy dessert. It was absolutely light yeah. and delicious. And anybody who likes Dole Whips would like that dessert because oh, yeah, it was pineapple yeah. and ice cream. So. Yeah, that was really good. But uh, thanks to uh, Hell's Kitchen for having us out. And, and shout out to our, our waiter, Nick. He was awesome. Yep, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little look inside Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Oh, so we're in the mall next to Point of Hollywood and not only do they also have a sky in this mall, but they have a stripper and a pole. So we're walking around this mall and we see behind us, of course you see the sky there, but it says it's going to rain inside here every, the top of every hour. So right, that's almost a little couple little, of minutes. Yeah. So okay. we're going to, we're going to show you guys the rain inside. Okay. in the Link Hotel and I'm getting ready to do Fly Link which is a zip line where I get to fly like Superman a thousand feet up or something. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing but I'm not doing it. I'll see you from the other side. You don't want to do it? No, not happening. <laughs> and then we're going to take you on the high roller which is an observation do, wheel. That should do. It's in air inside. That's right. Let's go. We're up here at the launch tower. There's the high roller and there's where I'm going to go. This is the first time doing it Superman style, so we'll see how this goes. It sounds cool. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Alright, you're going down superheroes. So don't forget to put your arms on your chest, head all the way down to either one of the landing platforms. Thank you for flying with us. We are launching in three, two, Here we go. one. Enjoy your Whoa. ride. Whoa! Oh my gosh. This is weird. I feel like I'm should be holding on, but I can't. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Superman! This is awesome. Whoa! <laughs> oh, right over this building. Ah! Here I go. Oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> so what'd you think? Gates open. What'd you think? Fine. <laughs> We're on. We're on. Hey Jackie, look at this. What? It tells you like how high you are. Oh, it's climbing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Building new convention space for Caesars here. You see a shadow of the high roller there. There's a lot more room in this cabin than the ones in Orlando. A lot of room to walk around, a couple places to sit. We're now up high enough that you can see the snow-capped mountains over in the background. Lovely 
least one of them. That's a cool view here of the rest of the wheel. And then if you look out in the distance, there's the airport. This is a really cool view here with the shadow and see one of the other cabins behind us. And of course the amazing views out here. All the way around. All right, we're here, we're at the top. This is the tallest observation wheel in the world. 550 feet. 550 feet amazing views. Oh, the views are breathtaking. Gorgeous. There goes some other people doing the zip line. They're all doing the seated position. It's cool to see them going across from up in the high roller. Looks like they're racing almost. What's cool is you can actually walk underneath the wheel over here. Whoa. We're still here at the Link Promenade and we stopped for a bite to eat and we found this unique place. What is it? It's Jaburito and it's a sushi burrito. Sushi burrito. Yeah. It's actually good. pretty good. Yeah. I think for some people this would be heaven. Sprinkles right next door to in and out out hamburgers. We're now in the Bellagio and just wanted to show you guys how impressive the lobby is. Looks awesome. The most impressive Chinese New Year setup we've seen in any hotel or mall so far of the pigs. All right, we've been walking back to our hotel from the link and uh, we cut through the Bellagio and we thought we'd go to the other side and try to get out. We cut through another hotel and then it said this way to the strip. We got out there and it the said- The crosswalk was blocked off. Closed. Closed. So now we're trying this Aria Express tram, hoping it'll take us closer to the Park MGM. Well, it worked. We made it. It did, and our room is right up there, so we're close. One of those is our room. I'm not sure which one. As you can see behind us is the Excalibur Hotel. That we're passing that and going to Mandalay Bay to see the Michael Jackson Cirque Show. Yeah, I'm it's excited. Called Michael Jackson One, one. I think. Right. So we hope that's good. I yeah. think it should be. It will. Everybody said it is. Everybody said it is great. All right, we just arrived in Mandalay Bay. Hi, welcome to the Zordis. I guess that's us. Over What's that? from, there's a tram over from like by the Excalibur over to here. It's great. It, it saved us a lot of walking and it was really cold out, so I'm very happy that there was a tram. And saved us money. Yeah, we didn't it's have to Uber. It's the second time this week we, or to the second time today, we took a tr free tram, so that helps. So we just walked from Mandalay Bay through their shops and it yeah, brings you over. Yeah, the shops at Mandalay Bay and connect to the Luxor. Yep, and here we are and look up. That's pretty cool, isn't it? If you don't know, the Luxor is a big pyramid. So all the rooms up there are around the pyramid, but we can't go up because unless you're staying guests, here. Yeah. So here in the Luxor, they have the Blue Man Group. That's cool. And then they have the Bodies Exhibit. There's the Titanic Artifact Exhibition. Michael Jackson's sequin socks. Authentic exhibits. And around the corner here is the whole Michael Jackson store. Do you think they'll have a Captain EO section? 
Probably not, but that would be really cool. All right, we just got out of the Michael Jackson One show. What do you think? I loved it. I, I thought it was well worth the money, and I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, so. I loved I all the perfect. music. I knew all the songs, but some of the acts were a little bit slow for me, and I even I nodded I, off a couple of times. But I, I, I tend to do I that in it theaters. Was amazing. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you, but theater's um, not your thing. It's totally my thing. So some of the circus acts are ones you've seen, like in Lanuba with the trampoline, but they put little spins on it. There was a couple of acts that I'd never seen before. Right. Like and the shadows and uh, the light up suits. That right. was cool. There's, a, there's so many special effects. The music is amazing. The dancing, well worth it, in my opinion. We paid 100 and, like $160 a piece. I think it was a little bit much. We had the seats down front. It was uh, close. It was really well, close we weren't seats. real close. We were at the back of the front section. Right. It was, a, it was last minute. I'd like to have been a little bit closer, but, but it was last minute too. So I, and there are yeah. di different deals and depending on. She thinks know. it's worth the money. I don't, but that's up to you <laughs> to decide. Up to you well. decide. <laughs> no Captain EO. Oh no. Hershey's Chocolate World sounds good to me. Check out this Statue of Liberty made out of Twizzlers. That's cool. Mm, it smells like chocolate in here. Look, I finally found enough chocolate sauce. Oh, wait, it's really light. Oh, it's a bank. <laughs> Not chocolate in there. <laughs> Look, we made some Attractions Magazine Hershey's for Valentine's Day. Look, I found another Statue of Liberty. This one's made of chocolate. Hey Jackie, do that pose. <laughs> Close enough. Don't fall over. <laughs> All right, it's our last day in Las Vegas and we got a few things planned. We're heading over to the Venetian to just look around. Then right. what we're we doing? We're gonna go meet some friends oh, yeah. and do some VR over by Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds VR. And then we're gonna do Void. The Void VR. VR. They have a different uh, different uh, game than they have in Orlando, so we're gonna try that out, and then we'll know. have to see what we'll do after right. that. Come along. On our way to Madame Tussauds, right next door is the Venetian Hotel, which looks is themed like Italy, and they even have gondola rides that go inside and out. All right, we made it to Madame Tussauds. I think there's a celebrity right behind us. bar right in the museum. Look at that menu. So 
we just saw a uh, Marvel 4D movie. It's, uh, it's included with your mission here, at Madame Tussauds. It was, pretty cute. It was, it was cute. cute. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. The graphics weren't too bad. Yeah, uh, I liked it. And now we're heading over to uh, VR, which is an extra charge experience. But uh, I'm not sure what to expect with that. We'll see. We shall All right, we just finished doing the VR at Madame Tussauds. Our friend Seth here and writer for us has also helped us out. What do you think about it, Seth? I thought it was interesting. It was uh, a nice change from just shooting things and blowing things up. There's some good puzzle solving. Uh, you had to cooperate as a team. Um, it was uh, felt a little short. It yeah, when, a... I, when I first heard the price of $15, I'm like, that's really cheap. But then I found out what we did was twice, there was two missions. Would have been thirty dollars. Yeah, which right? is nice if you know if you don't know if you're going to like it or not to just pay a little and try it. Yeah, and then that's you can true. do a longer version if that's you true. want. That's true. That's true. But uh, I did feel like we were kind of interrupted at the end. It, yeah. It ended a little early. But it was fun. Yeah. So If you haven't done VR, fifteen bucks, it's a, a good way to get your toes in the water. Hey, we're in the shops where the in the Venetian where the void is. I see a pattern here. More ceilings with sky. <laughs> Like every other mall here has that feature. So this is really cool. Looks like you're in a little uh, Italian city. All right, we're here at the Void where they have Secrets of the Empire. They also have Ruff and Ralph, of course. We have those in Orlando. But the one we don't have is this one. Nicodemus Demon of Vanishment. Here's a look at the character I'm going to be. And we're watching a little preview video. Strange lights were seen coming from the abandoned exhibit hall. We are sending you back to that same January night in 1894 and the decaying Chicago World's Fair. All right, so we just got done doing what is Nicod Nicodemus? Nicodemus. Demon of the Vanishment. And, I actually uh, really liked it. She didn't like scary I stuff like too scary much, stuff. but she liked it. It was so, it, it was so enveloping and just it, 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 the actual tactile feel of it. Yeah. You can actually sit If you've down. ever done the Star Wars one, you know how. Boy, does it where you got actual things that look like virtual, but you can actually touch them. I will yeah, say, if you're scared of cobwebs or rats, this is not <laughs> oh, one no. for you. It, that's, that's exactly right. That was a lot of fun. No, I loved it. And apparently, and the there is amazing. two different oh, yeah. endings depending on how well you do. Uh, we didn't do so well. We apparently our souls are now trapped there we for all eternity. Hopefully, you'll do a little better. Yeah. And then the Venetian is another near the pig display. Right behind the pig is another display. And a cute little pig on the side. All right now we're in Treasure Island Hotel and there's the Avengers Station exhibit in here. That's where we're at right now. We're not gonna pay to go in. We've already covered it. Yeah, we have video of it on our website and uh, on our YouTube channel. We're just here uh, to check out the store. But we're going to show you a little bit around the uh, gift shop here. This is a free activity they have here in the gift shop where you can put on Iron Man's suit. Right now she's got on the Hulk bus she's trying to fight somebody. <laughs> check out these chairs. Might have to get a new desk chair. Which one would you pick? Hmm. I think I would get, of these, I think I'd get Iron Man. And look at this uh, Hulk hand. I'm not sure what the markings on them are, but... This is really cool, a big dining theory. Hot machine, and next to a whole lot of Dima Thrones. All right, 
right, it's the end of our trip. We're here at the airport, as you can see, slot machines right here at the gate. They want to get your money before you leave and when you arrive. But uh, we have some tips for you guys if you're coming out to Vegas. One is uh, make sure you have cash. If you're going to gamble, they don't take credit cards. If you do use your credit card to get some cash, they're going to charge you. So bring cash if you want to do any gambling. And Another, if you're going to get show tickets, um, get them early because you get a discount card that usually gives you discounts at a lot of restaurants and a lot of stores. Yep, so yep. get that early and book those. Um, yeah, I think I was from tickets. Ticks for tonight. Yeah, there's other ones yeah. as well. I don't and know if they all give you coupons, but there's the coupons. Yeah, other places. Yeah. Keep keep an eye out and look online too. And then uh, the last tip was uh, look for free shuttles. We found a couple different free shuttles to go between the hotels. That saved and, a lot of uh, walking. You yeah. will walk a lot. Yeah, a lot of walking. Some Bring comfy comfortable shoes. shoes. <laughs> and uh, of course, there's Uber and they also have a monorail for a small charge. But uh, we just walked up and down the strip and right. used those free shuttles when we could. So right. we had a great time. We hope you enjoyed our look at uh, what we did. And we can't wait to come back. Bye.